Welcome to the Grizzled Geek. We have a special guest today, uh, singer-songwriter Marion Calls with us. Thank you for <laughs> joining us on the Grizzled Geek. Absolutely. Thank um, you for inviting me. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, so, for some of the fans who may not be familiar with your work, why don't you tell us a little bit about, well, what, uh, describe your music. What kind of genre <laughs> of music do you have here? Because... <laughs> it's a little bit unusual. Um, yeah. I uh, I'm a singer songwriter, mm -hmm. and my albums sound like kind of a range from folk to jazz to rock, right? Uh, depending on the song, and it's uh, but the subject matter is a little unusual, which is probably why I'm on a geeky show as opposed to uh, just you know your standard NPR music interview, <laughs> right? Uh, I mostly write about weird stuff. Like I write a lot about space and NASA stuff and Firefly and Battlestar Galactica and uh, Jane Austen and Shakespeare and just kind of a lot of, you know, I have a wide range. Wide range of stuff. Some geek inspired stuff. Yeah. Some, mm. some geek inspired stuff. Well, I just think I just write about whatever interests me and I happen right. to be pretty nerdy growing up. And so, yeah, that's what interests me. But, uh, I've fallen in with, of course, a circle of other people who do interesting kind of, uh, nerdy music stuff kind yes. of ranging from filk to like, you can't really tell that there's any nerdy underpinnings, but it definitely is there. And right. Like yeah. everything in between. And I've written everything in between and I play a lot of conventions and a lot of like normal shows where no one knows anything's going on and both of those are a lot of fun. <laughs> right. So a lot of the you know under the radar nerd kind of vibe. My be... rule is I want my grandma to like it too. That's right. You know? Yeah. So oh, cool <laughs> Got kids it. keep enthusiasm and rations right down to the last explosive mass but I'd rather indulge my many passions Perhaps I do not strike you as a geek Without the branded t-shirt And me high argyle songs I got glasses now But nerdery is more than wardrobe deep So I had to change the words <laughs> I've got nerd down in my heart And that's where nerdhood rocks I am better acquainted than a good girl ought to be With Aragorn and Yosef, Bridge and Worf and Hal and Han But you don't really know me and my culture don't control me, so don't you bitch and hold me, cause my face are set to stun. Oh, I've been a nerd since long before I could have heard. Bookish girls should look and act a certain way. And I'll still be a geek when I am utterly antique, cause I do not care what normal people say. Oh, one, two, three, four, my superpower is draining from. I'm in good company with Auden, Austin, Hawking, Galileo, and Van Gogh, and countless other weirdos whom you really ought to know. So, stow your expectations. I won't fix your PC, and I don't mind being underrated or ignored. It's just the world is much too interesting to entertain on way, so I won't ever play it cool. Firefly and its influence on your mu er, mu early music? Uh, it influenced my career uh, mostly. Mm. I wrote some songs uh, obliquely related to Firefly. Like, they're, if you're a fan, you would pick up on everything right away. Right. Um, if you're not, you might just think it's kind of a weird love song or breakup song, but it's like, no, there's <laughs> a bunch more stuff going on there. 
uh, I wrote uh, one or two. I won a song contest for a filk about Saffron, who was one of my favorite characters. Oh, yeah, okay. And uh, it was judged by Christina Hendricks, which oh, is cool. Really? The contest was judged Christina by Hendrick Christina herself? Hendricks, yeah. <laughs> and um, she said, this is awesome. And then um, because that got on a bunch of Firefly kind of blogs and podcasts at the time, uh, I got... Uh, contacted by Quantum Mechanics, uh, they make lots of geek props and stuff. They make oh, the okay. really cool. If you want a really gorgeous, multiple thousand dollar spaceship recreation <clears> that's <throat> this big, uh, Quantum Mechanics is who would make it. They also make it. you know smaller stuff and maquettes and keychains and all that, but they do really fancy spaceship builds yeah, and things. The high end so. nerd stuff. Yeah, and for some reason they were like, "Hey, let's produce a record together," and I was like, "What? Sure, okay, cool." <laughs> okay, so yeah. they commissioned a whole record of more Firefly and Battlestar Galactica stuff. So it's officially oh. licensed merch. <laughs> Nice. My album got to fly. That was my second album. <laughs> and uh, after that, I started going to conventions. And since then, I have continued to write. Like, some of my songs are super nerdy and goofy. I've covered a lot of great, like, uh, They Might Be Giants and Tom Lehrer oh, and Tom Animaniacs and, like, just kind of everything. Yeah. And, uh, and I also write a lot of, like, serious, serious music, too, because I think... Um, I don't know. I think that people in the music industry, which I'm very like removed from, right. uh, they tend to think people can only have one interest. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I have an incredibly wide range of interests. You know, like I list, I like listening to Jonathan Colton and the Double Clicks, but I also listen to um, Andrew Bird and Alabama Shakes, and there's no division there right. in my music collection. <clears throat> so I assume my fans are cool enough to kind of roll with yeah. anything that I'm going to write, and I just do it. Well, the fact <laughs> that you... Uh cover a Tom Lear song. That's a pretty deep nerd cut right there. Oh, I that mean. was raised on Tom Lear, <laughs> oh, Spike yeah. Jones, nice. the, the original, <laughs> you know, they might be giants very early. They might be oh, giants. Nice. Like the, yeah. Parody music from before, you know, pre weird Al generation. Oh, okay. <laughs> There's yeah. Lots and lots of it. Wow. Gilbert and Sullivan, I guess. Some yeah, of the you original. You uh, cover the element song. It's uh, amazing. Plus all the, <laughs> all the nerd elements from sci-fi stuff added on. Oh, a, yeah. Mike Selinker wrote that. Mike oh, Selinker is nice. a game designer. He oh, okay. did Betrayal at the House on the Hill. Yeah, he wrote yeah. The Maze of Games. And he arranged... Um, so uh, Tom Lehrer is a musical uh, comedian who was very famous in the 70s for a brief window. Yeah. And he wrote a song uh, satirizing the modern major general. I am the yeah. very model of a modern major general. Yep. Information, you know, He did uh, the elements of the periodic table yep. uh, to that melody. Great song. Kate. And then Mike Selinker, my friend, um, set all these fictional elements yeah. like isogen and necrogen, mythril and vibranium and you know all, yeah. the, all, all the fictional elements he said instead. So it was like a satire of a satire of a satirical song that I'm covering. It's like several layers <laughs> removed. Nice. But yeah, I love doing stuff like that. That's awesome. Um, Antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and radium. Nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium, and iron, and erysium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium, lanthanum, and osmium, and astrocene, and radium, and golden protactinium, and indium, and gallium, and iodine, and thorium, and thulium, and thallium. Yttrium, ytterbium, actinium, rubidium, and boron, gadolinium, niobium, iridium, and strontium, and silicon, and silver, and samarium, and bismuth, bromine, lithium, beryllium, and barium. I have a very select house concert audience in general, <laughs> but this is really absurd. <laughs> There's holmium and helium and hafnium and erbium and phosphorus and francium and fluorine and terbium, manganese and mercurium and lifting and magnesium, dysprosium and scandium and cerium and cesium, lead praseodymium and platinum, plutonium, palladium, promethium, potassium, polonium, tantalum, technetium, titanium, tellurium and cadmium and calcium and chromium and curium. <laughs> Sulfur, Californium, and Fermium, Berkelium, and also Medelevium, Einsteinium, Mobilium, and Argon, Protonium, Radon, Zenon, Zinc, and Rhodium, and Chlorine, Carbon, Cobalt, Copper, Tungsten, Tin, and Sodium. Laurentium and Hanium, and also Livermorium. Because there are several more, of course, since Mr. Lear finished the song. Right? <laughs> they just keep coming like rabbits. Uh, <laughs> and Dubnium, Suborgium, Borium, Lutnerium, Hassium, Darmstadium, Organium, Copernicum, Flavorium, and Rutherford. And four more last year, because you can simply can keep bombarding particles all day until you get a new element for a fraction of a fraction of a second, which is completely useless and sort of like sort of like decorating your house with fake columns in the front when it doesn't need it. And I'm just always like, what is the point? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, fine. You're making my song harder. All right, so whatever. As of last year, anantrium, anantium, anantium, and anantium. 
and presumably next up, Isogen and Necrogen and Mithril and Vibranium and Arcanite and Kryptonite and also Unobtainium, Magnetonium, <laughs> Gemonium, Chelonium and Carbonated Corbomite and Scrith and Wonderflonium, Energon and Metroton and Flubber and Shazamium, the Quadrium, Quadia and also Adamantium, Fusorium, Rodinium, Sakura and Nucleon. And still Thorgos, Reprieve, Metal Dragon, Men and Phlogiston. <laughs> Dilithium, trilithium, phazon, and amazonium, bombastium, pizzazium, melangium, and ammonium, and ludium, and 36, I sign a thiotimaline, and oxium, and octogen, and polar, right, and soil, and green. <laughs> <laughs> Which, to be fair, is really a compound, but. <laughs> There's liquid schwartz, and ruby quartz, and oxygen, and alphanite, iridium, turbidium, dark steel, and metacyanite, malthusite, bendesium, byzantium, and magicite, and protonite, and grimacite, and phosite, and their solar night, bronium, bazulium, balonium, and birium, and fernium, neridium, and sloot, and atmospherium. There's cesium, francolithic, mixiolabidium, rixidix, and oxidex, and oxide, and obsidian. There's mortite, worn by nethocyte, and ruin, and abasium, and tilium, and trinium, and zen, and upsidasium, tertonium, and fridium, red vein, and veritanium, coatium, and celestial bonds, plasteel, and dolichanium. Then there's love, the one that saved the world in the fifth element. <laughs> Though the fifth is really born, if you're wondering what the hell is. You, uh, you play some instruments, you get the tambourine, you do... Uh, um, I say keyboard, bass. Is that what I heard? Keyboard. No, I play the typewriter. Typewriter. Well, that's, I was going to say, you know, it is a keyboard of yeah. a kind. Yeah, I've heard. You know, I have rain a few stick. different typewriters. <laughs> rain stick. Yeah, play rain stick. I play kazoo. I've played. Um, yeah. I want to talk uh, about the typewriter a, a little bit. That's a little kind of an obscure thing to. <laughs> <laughs> what so what started that at the? Uh, I used it in one of my first my first record, one of my first songs, uh, Vanilla. Uh -huh. which is also the title track of that record. I used typewriter on it. And then people started asking me, why don't you have a typewriter in your show? <laughs> and I was like, who has a typewriter in their show? And then I realized that was exactly why I should have a typewriter in my show. <laughs> so now I have a ton of typewriters. People keep giving them to me. It's great. <laughs> awesome. So uh, what, uh, what artists inspire you? <sighs> Lots. Uh, artists who keep changing and growing, I would say. Uh, um, I'm really inspired by St. Vincent. I'm really inspired by uh, Andrew Bird, Chris Teeley, who's now hosting uh, Prairie Home Companion. Just seems like fun and skilled and wonderful and you know, <laughs> awesome. good to work with. Uh, Jonathan Colton, who's a friend of mine, also inspires me the way his work kind of keeps maturing. Yes. Um, it, there's Colton's a lot awesome. of people to admire. There's a lot of great music oh, right there now. Is. There's a ton <laughs> out there. Um, all right. Well, I was going to end on it just because it's the Grizzle Geek and it's <laughs> what we do here. So I got to ask you, um, with all the glut of superhero movies out right now, do you have a favorite superhero movie? You know, I think uh, I'm a little torn. <laughs> I want to say, I want to say Captain America two, mm, the Winter Soldier, and yes. yeah, Winter Soldier or Guardians of the Galaxy one. Yes. But they're, I feel like they're completely different sets of movies. Like they're, I like them for they very are. different reasons. Exactly. You know, so that's trouble. I'm excited about Thor Ragnarok. Oh. Um, I. Yeah, I'm gonna, I think, I don't know. If I had to pick overall, I'd probably go with um, Winter Soldier. Winter I'm Soldier's incredibly excited about Black Panther. <laughs> yes, Black Panther looks <laughs> Cannot amazing. Cannot wait for that, yeah. <laughs> I love Taika Waititi, too. So oh, yes. I think Thor I, Ragnarok is amazing. Yeah. I am excited. I hope I can find time to see it while I'm on tour, <laughs> probably like a Monday night or something when I'm not playing a show. Right, so you are on tour now with your West Coast tour. I am on tour now, yeah. I'm been, I've covered the whole United States pretty much. Awesome. You know, I'm, I'm, I think I'm hitting 46 states this year, 44 states. Oh, wow. Uh, and most major metro areas, and it's been... I'm almost done now, just the West Coast left. Right, so we'll put a link to the, <laughs> what the rest of the tours on the West Coast down below, mm -hmm. so be sure to check that out. Uh, where can they find you? Is there... You can find me on uh, Spotify, iTunes, all the usual places. My complete collection, including all the like cool cover songs like Elements and Animaniacs and They Might Be Giants, that's all at uh, marioncall.bandcamp.com. If you don't know about Bandcamp, that's where all the cool indie musicians put their music first because nice. Bandcamp actually is a good company. Ah. Uh, we like them. But you can find kind of the bulk of my... like fancy studio recordings are also on iTunes and Spotify and everywhere. Oh, and YouTube. I have a bunch of cool movies. Bunch of cool movies on Our YouTube. most recent is I've done some like send ups to strong, bad and home store runner. Oh, I've done, uh, nice. yeah, we've done some fun stuff. The most recent video is for a song called Oregon trail. And I think ah. that folks who enjoy the grizzle geek would enjoy that movie. Awesome. <laughs> so check it out on YouTube. Marion Cole. Thank you very much for joining us in studio. Lovely. Thank you. And good luck on the tour. Thanks. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed our interview with the talented Marion Call. Uh, if you enjoy her music, please seek her out on YouTube, Facebook, and SoundCloud. If you live on the West Coast, she's on tour right now, and we'll have a link to those tour dates and times down below. So once again, thank you for listening to us here or watching us on YouTube. We really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends about us. If you want to support our channel, we have a link to our Patreon down below. Uh, you get access to early shows and outtakes and bloopers and all kinds of cool stuff. So thank you very much. If you have any comments, leave them below. We'll get back to you. And thank you 